Run, Don. I need a shower. It's warm today. You hungry? Breakfast time. A little bit hungry. We've had our breakfast and we're, it's quite a few hours later to be honest. We are kind of having a day in because I've got loads of work to do and stuff. We've just nipped out to the shop. Stephen's got a whole tub of ice cream, chocolate ice cream. I think he's going to eat it all. Are you going to sit and eat it all? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Is it nice? Yeah. My other taste? I don't, I'm not really a fan of chocolate ice cream. In fact, I'm not a fan of, at all of chocolate ice cream. Right, I'm gonna get on with some work. We're just leaving the house. Oh, it's our little dog. Where's he gone? He's not coming. No. Okay. No, he's not our friend today. We're just leaving. We've just had. I didn't do hardly any work. I, the plan was to have a kind of worky day. I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. I didn't do hardly any. You didn't do hardly any? What you said. Did I? Yeah. Do you know when I'm vlogging, Stephen always cracks me that I say stupid wrong sentences that don't make any sense. <sighs> I don't know if what I've said makes any sense. Anyway, we are heading out. It's like five o'clock-ish. We're heading down into kind of the centre. Tonight is the plan for today was the reason we've stayed for as long as we have done, because we were only originally staying for a couple of days, is that Stephen wants to be quiet and consider people. <laughs> oh no, you say didn't say anything. Um, yeah, the reason we stayed for longer was that the Dragon Bridge that I think I've, you've seen on the. Uh, sh 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 she shall, she shall, she shall, she shall. I can't speak, it's like I can't actually speak in normal life and then as soon as I pick up the camera my sentences don't start making sense. Don't start making sense. See, right, I'm gonna show up. Right, so again, the Dragon Bridge that you've probably seen on a few vlogs on a party Friday and Saturday night. I thought it was just Saturday night, but on uh, Friday and Saturday night it does it like flows um breathes fire and water and stuff and so Stephen wanted to stay and watch that, which is why we've stayed. A little bit longer, so we're heading into the centre. Maybe we're gonna get something to eat, maybe just wander or whatever, and then see the show. I think it's only like a five minute show thing, but hey, we're here, so we might as well stay and watch it. We're gonna cross a different bridge this evening. We always walk along and walk over the Dragon Bridge. We're gonna walk across a different one because we've not been here before. Here we are. We haven't, we have. Of course, in a taxi, that's a lie. Not, it's a lie, of course, in a taxi, it's a lie that we haven't been here before. No, I think <laughs> Absolutely. 
love bonfire night. So cold and getting all cosy, wrapped up in like coat and scarf and everything and going to the bonfire watching the fireworks. Never mind, we'll watch the dragon instead with this fire. Look what I got! Some new flip flops! I just went to go to the toilet at the place where we're having our drinks and meal and that and the guy saw that I had one flip flop broken and so he just gone and got me those flip flops and said I can have them. How nice is that? Goodbye flip flops, you're crap. <laughs> this evening is going to be so much better because I have two flip flops. How kind of, of them was it to give me some flip flops? I thought maybe they might put them on the bill at the end or something, but they didn't. They didn't charge me. So kind of them. I think a little bit of or something going on back here. It's it's spitting. It's one of those evenings, you know, when it's mi what like misty rain. Yeah, like misty rain. It's just like very very lightly. Misty raining down on us. We are gonna wander over. Have I? You got your phone? Have I got your phone? Yeah. You gave it to me. Okay. We have our so phones. No problem. Yeah. I'm sure I haven't. Right. We're wandering over to the bridge. The bridge is just there. The bridge is just there. We're gonna wander over to the other side because we're at the bum end of the dragon. So we need to go over to the other side to the head end to go and watch this. Um, Fire water show thing. It's quite nice actually, the, the misty rain down. Isn't it? Yeah. No. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> I love so much when like the reflection of the lights are on the water. It's so pretty.
Copenhagen bridge stuff is over. We are heading home. It was quite good. It was that we've just been talking about it, and it's like it was kind of like a not anything, but I'm glad that we stayed to see it. Yeah. 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 Well, we got one over then. Walking a little bit too far in the road, but I can't walk on the pavement because it's completely covered in grass. We've got to walk in the road. So we're heading home. It's about maybe a mile or so home, I think. He's flipped. Well, what's the just there? I know, we're staying quite far out from the centre, which is a little bit of a pain. But never mind. We're scared. <laughs> we're walking down this road that we don't know. It's like a huge, massive road, and no traffic comes down it. And oh, there's a bike coming. And it's just really like quiet, and I don't know. We've just all got a little, got a little bit scared. Because I get scared at most things. I'm a big scaredy cat. But it was just like dark either side. It was horrible. I love um, night rivers, night time and cities. It's one of my most favourite things. Like apart from like being on the beach in the sun. I love, it's one of the reasons why I love London so much. It was night time, walking across the bridges and like looking out at all the lights and everything. The lights reflecting on the river. I love it so much. That was really nice being down at the river at night time. We're nearly at the main road. We've made it to the other side, alive. Yay! We survived! I didn't think we weren't. I, you didn't think we weren't gonna survive? I thought we weren't gonna survive. Oh, shadows. Scary. It's gone there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know why that scared me. <laughs> we are back home, that was handy. We were about maybe half a mile away from home and the woman who owns the homestead that we're staying in drove past us and she was like oh hi and then she came back she's like oh it started to rain do you want a lift so she gave us a lift back so that was good so we are back home Stephen's gone and got the rest of his chocolate ice cream from the freezer he put it in before so I think he's going to get into bed and eat his chocolate ice cream I'm going to get into bed and do some work I think this is our last day in Da Nang I've had a really nice time when I've looked at Da Nang people have said that there's not much to do to be honest I haven't actually done that much here so people say there's not much to do or whatever but it's just been really nice I've loved the place that we've stayed in and we've just had like a chilled out relaxing time just going to the beach and doing a few little things it's just been, it's been a really nice what four or five days or so but we are moving on tomorrow I'm not sure how we're getting there. I think we can just get like a local bus. I'll have to speak to her in the morning. She did say something about like the yellow bus that goes past that we can just get on this bus. I'm not sure at the moment. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching today. I hope you've had a wonderful bonfire night, by the way, in England, if you are in England. Miss bonfire. I have missed the bonfire. To be honest, I've not actually thought about it. I was gonna say I've missed it. I haven't thought one little bit about being bonfire night. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.